Now we will discuss Medicare Advantage plans, also known as Medicare Part C. A Medicare Advantage plan is a health maintenance organization, an HMO, or a preferred provider organization, a PPO, which is another way for you to get your Medicare coverage. Medicare Advantage plans are offered by Medicare approved private insurance companies that must follow the laws of Medicare. The insurance commissioner has no jurisdiction over Medicare Advantage plans. If you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you will still get your Medicare coverage. Um, this, however, the services will no longer be administered by Medicare, but now they will be administered by the plan that you choose. If you choose a Medicare Advantage plan, you will no longer use your red, white, and blue Medicare card. You will provide the doctor with, uh, let's say, Aetna or Cigna or Humana. Those are the three companies that are authorized to provide Medicare Advantage plans here in Delaware. Those are the companies that you are seeing commercials for on the television. Um, as they state, most, advantage, most Medicare Advantage plans do cover added benefits such as prescription drugs, um, dental, vision, hearing. Some actually offer gym memberships. Um, those are some of the advantages of going with a Medicare Advantage plan. While a Medicare Advantage plan works for one individual, it may not work for someone else because the benefits and the cost sharing are going to be different from plan to plan. Now, how um, the Medicare Advantage plans work Again, you're still in the Medicare program, so therefore you must pay your monthly Medicare premium of $144.60 in 2020. Um, Medicare pays the plan every month for your care. You still have your Medicare rights and protections. If the plan decides that they want to leave Medicare, then you will be eligible to join another Medicare Advantage plan or return to original Medicare with no penalties. So the calls for Medicare Advantage plans, um, again, you still have to pay your monthly premium. You may pay additional monthly premiums with the Advantage plan. So um, here in Delaware, uh, they start at $0, and I believe they go up to almost $90 for the monthly premium with the Advantage plans. But in addition to that, you have deductibles that you must meet. You have co-insurances and co-amounts that are going to be different from original Medicare, and it varies from the plans that are available, and you may pay higher if you go outside the network. Generally, to use an in-network doctor, your copay is 20, zero to $25. For a specialist, you have to pay anywhere from 40 to $50. So the out-of-pocket cost with an advantage, while the premium is low, you still have an out-of-pocket um, cost that you must pay for those plans. Uh, to join a Medicare Advantage plan, you must be enrolled in Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. You must live in the plan service area. You must be in the United States lawfully, and you cannot be incarcerated. Um, you must actually complete an application in order to join the plan. With the Medicare Advantage plans, um, you have your initial enrollment period three months before your 65th birthday, the month of your 65th birthday, and three months after. There is also an annual Medicare Advantage open enrollment period that runs January, January 1 through March 31st. You must already be in a Medicare Advantage plan to um, change to a new Medicare Advantage plan during that time. There is an annual open enrollment period that runs October 15th through December 7th. Um, it will let you know, uh, you'll get an annual notice of change um, in September if you choose one of these plans letting you know about plan benefits for the upcoming year. So if you wanna make changes, you can make changes during the annual enrollment period. And coverage will start January 1. If you did not enroll in Medicare Part B when you were first eligible and you enrolled during the general enrollment period, then you can apply for a prescription drug plan between April 1 and June 30th. 
and coverage will begin on January 1. Like Medicare Part uh, D, there are special enrollment periods if you move outside the plan service area, if you have extra help, if you live in a move in or move out of an institution, you may also be eligible to change plans outside of the annual open enrollment period. Here in Delaware, there's a special uh, Medicare plan. Um, it's called the Medicare Program of All Inclusive Care for the Elderly. It's called the PACE Program. It is available in Newcastle County only at the St. Francis Hospital, and basically, St. Francis Hospital would administer all the care for someone who enrolls in a PACE Medicare Advantage plan. Similar to Part D, to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, we would ask you for a list of the medications you take, um, the dosage, the quantity of those medications. We will input that information into the MyMedicare.gov website. From there, we will be able to provide you with a list of all the Medicare Advantage plans that are available in Delaware. Um, the calls to see the providers, um, the costs for chemotherapy, uh, various types of benefits that are offered under those plans. All that information is available on that website. So oftentimes individuals have a hard time trying to figure out what works best for them, whether it be original Medicare or a Medicare Advantage. What works for one individual does not work for another individual. So I wouldn't necessarily go off of what a friend or a family member has, but look at your own health. Um, look at your current medical history. Look at your past medical history. Um, and look at family medical history to see which, whether original Medicare or a Medicare Advantage plan works best for you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of comparisons um, between original Medicare and Medicare Advantage over the next few slides. Under Original Medicare, you can go to any doctor or hospital here in the United States that takes Medicare, that is participating with them. Uh, with the Medicare Advantage plans, in most cases, you will you need to use their doctors, their providers. Um, again, I would advise you to contact each doctor that you see. If you see three, four doctors, contact each doctor. Make sure that your doctor has a contract with that insurance company. Don't necessarily go through the insurance company, but rather go through your doctor. Contact each of them. Make sure that they are contracted, um, whether they're a primary care, whether they are a specialist. Because in most cases with original Medicaid, well, in all cases, um, you don't need to a referral to see a specialist. However, if you choose a Medicare Advantage plan, you will need to get a referral if you have an HMO and decide, um, your doctor decides that you need to see a specialist. Under original Medicare, um, Medicare pays 80% and either you or your retirement plan or Medicare supplement policy pays the 20% that Medicare does not cover. However, with a Medicare Advantage plan, you're always gonna have out-of-pocket costs when you go to the doctor. Okay, so that's the difference with the, between those two. With uh, the original Medicare, again, you're going to pay a monthly premium for Part B, and if you choose a Part D, you'll also have to pay um, a Part D premium. However, in most cases, with a Medicare Advantage plan, it is going to include the um, premium under that plan for that Advantage plan. So you're only going to be paying basically one cost. Uh, with, Medic with original Medicare, there is no yearly limit um, with those plans for out-of-pocket costs. However, if you decide to go with a Medicare Advantage plan, there is a yearly, a yearly limit that you would be responsible for for the cost of your um, co-pays um, for Part A and B services. Under Original Medicare, um, it covers medically necessary services and supplies in hospitals, doctors' offices. However, with Medicare Advantage plans, um, those plans must cover all the medic 
the medically necessary services that Original Medicare covers, but they may offer you benefits that Original Medicare doesn't cover. Again, like um, dental, hearing, um, vision services. And finally, um, under Original Medicare and Advantage plans, um, if you go to a provider outside of the United States, they generally um, do not cover out of, uh, out of outside the U.S. So it's very important that if you do decide to go with a Medicare Advantage plan, that you purchase travel insurance so that you have coverage outside of the United States.